Uh, Paul Bremer, of course, the Atlanta, who headed up the Coalition Provisional Authority in Iraq after the U.S. led invasion of Iraq in 2000 that toppled Saddam Hussein. Um, Ambassador, if you don't mind my, my getting your thoughts on this first. Um, this seems to be, uh, to Jerry Willis's point, a coordinated, large-scale, presumably nation-state attack. Um, what do you make of it? Well, as a refugee from the 20th century, I'm not the best uh, person to ask about technical questions, but it does sound quite serious, and obviously we have to wait and see what the experts say about the kind of organization, how broad it would have to be to conduct such a broad attack. We'll just have to see. You know, it's changed so mightily since your days, you know, uh, you know trying to, first of all, reclaim the mantle and keep the peace in Iraq uh, so many years ago to now the new battleground, which seems to be cyber-related. We've increasingly seen that, even down to leaks of emails and the rest. Um, how do you fight a war like that? Because that doesn't well, involve soldiers. What, what do you do? Yeah, but, but look, uh, Neil, you mentioned Iraq. What's going on in Iraq proves another adage, which is wars are still about controlling territory. And we have a big strategic operation undergoing now in Mosul because ISIS lost Dakik uh, over the weekend. I'm optimistic that they will also lose Mosul and in the long run lose Raqqa. That doesn't mean ISIS will go away as a threat. They will still have uh, the ability to hurt us. But uh, we shouldn't underestimate the importance of controlling territory still, even in the 21st century. So when you see this re battle to reclaim Mosul, of course, uh, Donald Trump in the debate said we shouldn't even be in this position. We had it. Uh, and it was the Obama administration that, that, that fumbled it. Uh, your thoughts on that? The, the battle in Mosul presents Iraq with three questions and the United States with one, which is very relevant to your point about Trump. The three questions for the Iraqis are, can they liberate Mosul at an acceptable cost? Secondly, can they put in place adequate security after they do that. And most importantly, can the Iraqis come up with a broad-based system of governance, not only for Mosul, but for the province, for Nineveh. The problem for America is, can we avoid the mistake that was made by this administration when it pulled all our troops out in 2011? We have to stay engaged. All right, but by staying engaged, can we trust the, the Iraqis to do this on, on their own. Obviously, we have advisors in the region, nothing like what we had many years back. Or do you have faith in them that this time, some of the same soldiers who ran the other way when ISIS was coming their way, even if they were in far greater number, are different now, better trained now, ready now? It looks as if certainly the counter-terrorist forces, which are the ones we have spent the most time training, uh, and who led the liberation of Fallujah, Ramadi, Tikrit, Baiji, uh, other towns. It looks as if they are very adequate. Uh, they're only part of it, of course. The regular Iraqi army that you referred to, the Peshmerga, which is the uh, Kurdish army, and then there are the Shia militia. And so far, anyway, I think Prime Minister al-Abadi has laid out a fairly ca careful plan about how the actual assault on the urban center will take place. For example, he said he's not going to allow the Shia militia to go in there. Well, that's an important qualification, I think. Ambassador Bremer, thank you very much, and thank you for your service to this country. Appreciate it. Thank you, Neil. Nice to be with you.